one of the most critical parts of the trailer is where it attaches to the tow vehicle. The brake actuator looked like it was pretty old and I thought maybe it could be cleaned up, but on closer inspection, there was a lot of rust and corrosion and I wanted to take it apart and at least look at it to see what it looked like underneath. It came apart fairly simply. I just used my impact wrench to get the bolts out and then once I took it apart, I decided I wanted to replace it. The actuator is pretty heavy and weighs about 60 or 70 pounds, so you want to make sure that you're not wearing flip-flops. When I got a closer look at it, I saw that there was a lot of deterioration, so I actually called my friend Larry, who knows everything, and he advised that I should replace the tongue. I wanted to clean it up some just to see if it was going to be salvageable, even though I was told it was not. And I used a flap disc and a wire brush just to see what the metal looked like underneath. It had a whole bunch of pitting and some places it was actually almost rusted through. The man that I purchased the trailer from also gave me an extra brake actuator, so once I got everything cleaned up, I was going to see if that fit, try to save some money. Unfortunately, once I put it in place, I saw that it was going to be the wrong size, so I had to remove the trailer tongue anyway. I figured just a couple of bolts and I can remove the old trailer tongue, so I got to work. Unfortunately, it didn't work that easily. Once I got the bolt off, the next part was to remove the jack so I could get to the trailer tongue. Strangely enough, those three bolts came off very easily. I knew it was too good to be true, and of course I was right. The bottom of the trailer leg had something welded to it, and I couldn't get it out of the frame. So, back to the garage for the grinder. And now the satisfying part, one shot from a hammer. You can see how corroded the old bolts were. One of them had actually lost half of its diameter. I took the old trailer tongue to my local welder in Northport, Florida, the weld shop, and Dave made an exact replica. Everything matched up exactly, and when you look closely, you can really see the quality of the welds. Next, I needed to paint the metal, so I used a paint and primer all in one and put about three coats on the tongue. The end result came out looking pretty nice. Next, I had to test fit everything because I was going to be using the existing holes in the frame and I had to drill new holes in the new piece of trailer tongue that I had made.
I clamped everything in place and then verified that everything was positioned correctly. I was going to be replacing the old trailer tongue jack with a new one, so I test fit everything to make sure that it fit correctly. The new hole locations are marked and verified one last time. Then I use a center punch to mark them in a series of successively duller drill bits to attempt to drill the holes. I finally threw out all the drills I had and bought new ones. A tip I found was when drilling metal, it's easier to use a small diameter drill and make that hole and then go up to successively larger bits until you get the diameter you want. I bolted everything together with new 1 half inch grade 8 bolts. These will have a shear strength of 91,000 pounds per square inch. Once everything was snugged up with a wrench, I used my impact wrench for the final tightening. And this is the finished product when I was done. In the next video, I'm going to be installing the brake actuator and the hydraulic lines to the brakes.